Welcome to Our Lady of Peace and the video series on St. Joseph from the Litany of St. Joseph. Hi, I'm Deacon John Mang, and today we explore St. Joseph Most Just. And that just is recorded in St. Matthew's Gospel, Chapter 1, and it flows from the birth of Jesus narrative, and I'd like to share that with you now. Now, this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a just man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. In verse 19, depending on the translation, we find the word righteous or just. But from the outset, I think it's important to note that St. Joseph is not just a just man, because just is too small of a word. And for us in our modern world, sometimes the word just just equates to, to decent. When we read St. Matthew's account, sometimes we might think in human terms, well, you know, Joseph did a very decent thing. But being just is so much more than decency. And so how do we describe this incredible servant of God? Well, the Greek word for just offers us a clue. It's used for those whose way of thinking and acting is wholly conformed to the will of God, wholly conformed to the will of God, and who therefore needs no rectification in the heart or in life. And the account is recorded in St. Matthew's Gospel. We witness and appreciate how just and righteous Joseph truly is. When Joseph receives word concerning Mary, his first thought is not for himself. So great was his love for Mary that he was intently focused on her well-being and her reputation. And by his actions, he safeguards her life so that no harm should come to her or our Lord who was within her. You know, I so wish his words and example that he shared with Jesus would have been recorded for us in Scripture. But perhaps St. Joseph was that strong, silent type, a man of few words, but a person of God whose actions spoke much louder than words. I think as sons and daughters ourselves, how much of who we are flows from the example of our parents. I know in my own life, my father's words and example very much influenced and formed who I am today. It's not difficult to imagine Jesus witnessing Joseph's righteousness and being moved by his adoptive father's holy example. Joseph, most just, always acted in obedience to God, listening to the words he received from God through the angel. When God spoke to him, Joseph wasted no time putting God's words into action. Even when his own plans seemed to shatter, Joseph's thoughts were only for Mary. And it serves as a wonderful example of how through faith, hope, love, and action, God can remove our own feelings of heartache, pain, sorrow, or confusion. Pope Francis said this of Joseph, each of us can discover in Joseph the man who goes unnoticed, a daily discreet and hidden presence, an intercession support and guide in times of trouble. St. Joseph most just, a man of dreams, protector of our Lord and Lady, and a godly man of righteous action. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, blessed Joseph, husband of Mary, be with us this day. You protected and cherished Mary and Jesus, and so lived a just and righteous life. Guardian of the Holy Family, be with us in our own trials, and may your intercession obtain for us the strength we need to grow ever closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining me today. And may St. Joseph Most Just be our shining example and guide as we walk as disciples of Christ.